Hello, my crazy family. Welcome back to Mac Music Review. I'm aware that the sun is right there, and I guess that looks kind of bad, so we're probably going to flip things around. But, um, yeah. Today we are going to be looking at the album Guppy by Charlie Bit by Charlie Bliss. Guppy is actually the debut album for Charlie Bliss. And you may be wondering, what is Charlie Bliss? Because most people haven't heard of Charlie Bliss. They do not have any hits. They're pretty small. They haven't released much music at all. So it's unsurprising if you haven't heard of them. They are a kind of, they're kind of like Weezer, except like female Weezer. The lyrics are all very, the lyrics are about, you know, being young. The lyrics on this album are about being young and they're kind of funny with lots of reference to things. Like one of the songs on this is called Dairy Queen. One of the songs is called Gatorade. So, you know, they're like Weezer because they reference things. And yeah. And um, the most distinctive part of Charlie Bliss is the lead singer. The lead, I don't know her name, but the lead singer of this is a female, and she has a crazy high-pitched voice. Like, the highest-pitched voice I can think of of any female singer in a band, or any female singer at all. She's just super high-pitched singing. And really, like, squeaky, almost cartoonish. Her voice is almost cartoonish. And then another distinctive facet of Charlie Bliss is the very real rock music. This is really aggressive. I mean, I shouldn't say really aggressive, because, I mean, the music is really aggressive. But the lyrics and the vocals are not aggressive. But the music is is real rock music with real instruments. And everything sounds like it was recorded live. It all sounds really raw, not super polished. And it's all really just screaming guitars and really, really fast beating drums. I saw these guys live and honestly, they sound exactly live. They sound exactly like they do digitally. Like, their recorded stuff sounds exactly like their live stuff. Almost like they recorded it, and it's all, like, live recorded, is what it sounds like. Because they don't use any computer editing. They don't use any extra sounds. It's all real instruments. It's all guitar and drums and, and rock music, real rock music. This is a surprisingly short project. This thing literally is... It's only 10 songs long, and the so most of the songs are really short. They're like three minutes. Some of these songs are less than three minutes, like Scare You is like two minutes, 20 seconds. Some of the other songs in this album are under three minutes long, which is shorter than normal for a rock song. The only song on here that passes the four minute mark is the last song, Julia, which is a little bit slower than the rest of the songs in the album. It's the most, it's the darkest song on the album, which sounds kind of goofy to say, because it's not really super dark, but it's, it's the darkest song on the album, so. But besides that, this is a pretty short album. Since I already basically summed up the music on this album, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's rock music. This is a rock record. Lots of aggressive, really noisy rock music. It sounds it, like almost a little bit raw, like a less polished than like everything else you're going to hear out today. It just, it really sounds like it was recorded live. Um, the lyrics on this album are mostly about being a teenage girl. That's, that's literally what the perspective of the lyrics are from. They're all written from the perspective of the lead singer. And she basically, you know, has a bunch of cutesy lyrics and a bunch of lyrics about how sucky and bad life is. She references her boyfriend, not by name, but she says my boyfriend on like tons of these songs. And, and most of the lyrics on this thing are going to be love related and, you know, relating to emotions, relating to love mostly in a in a negative sense about how you know you know love when you're a teenager stinks and how it's dumb and and a bunch of other lyrics about growing up as a teenage girl and it being dumb about being life as a teenager being dumb and that that's that's the lyrics on this album when i first heard this album i was totally appalled and let, let me tell you how I listened to this album, why I listened to this album. I did not listen to this album because it had like a super high score on Metacritic. I listened to this album because I read that these guys, I bought tickets to Death Cab for Cutie, and I read that these guys were opening for Death Cab for Cutie. And so I was like, I might as well listen to them, you know, before the concert so I know what they're doing. And I was, yeah, totally appalled by this album. The, the lead singer's voice especially, just, I was like, ah, it just sounded, it was so different, it was so different so weird and so high pitched and like not normal. I was just like, what is this? And then some of the lyrics were really off putting and really strange to me. And I didn't even really care for the music. So uh, when I first listened to this record, I didn't like it at all. 
And then the more I listened to it to write this review, I actually ended up liking it. It, it definitely grew on me a good bit. Specifically speaking, um, her voice, the lead singer's voice, got much less annoying. And it, it really isn't super annoying anymore. I, it's, I don't really find it terribly annoying anymore. It's very original and actually gives a lot of charm to the album because of how unique the singing is. How And it fits, the singing fits very well with the lyrics, a lot of the weird lyrics and the, the topics of the lyrics. It all, it all makes more sense with the original singing, with the really high-pitched feminine vocals on this album. But then, then, then the lyrics, the lyrics are the main problem I have with this album. It's, it, lyrically, there really aren't a whole lot of themes which I find interesting. There aren't a lot of themes which I find really good. It, a lot of these are love songs, and there are definitely not original love songs. I mean, they really are original. They're not traditional love songs. There's a lot of interesting, quirky lyrics. But I think some of this quirkiness works against this album and making it really off-putting. Especially, for example, the song uh, Black Hole, which is... I got my hole stuck, I, I got, what, uh, oh, sorry, I got my toe stuck in a cornhole, bleeding out in a snow cone, I'm like, what, bleeding out in a snow cone, that's, that's weird, that's, that's wonky, and so I, I don't like that, I thought that was, and then the other, the other song, Dairy Queen, in the chorus it said, in the chorus it says, I peed the trampoline, and I'm like, I don't think this is attractive, I don't find this lyric about peeing on the trampoline very very enjoyable. And, and for that reason, some of the offbeat lyrics on this thing I actually make me like this album less. Easily, the best thing about this album is the music. This music is raw, it all sounds very real, it is very real. This album literally sounds like it was recorded live with no computer touches, no additional, you know, modern instrumentation. It's all literally guitar and drums. And seeing this thing performed live, I hate to say this, actually I shouldn't say I hate to say this, I was really pleasantly surprised at the live performance. These guys did a better job, I would say a much better job than Death Cab for Cutie. These guys sounded great live. Their drummer specifically was amazing. It was also really cool how the lead singer, the female singer, was singing and she played lead guitar, <laughs> you know, while she was doing the performance and she literally sounds exactly like she does on this record, except better. These guys sound better live. Honestly, I would recommend the concert. They were, they did a really great job. And, um, yeah, the music on this thing really sounds great. The first song on here is a really strong highlight. It's really good to start off with the strongest, you know, best sounding song. Per Locator just sounds really good. The chorus on Westermark is hard hitting. It just, it just feels like nostalgic. It just feels like, wow, I feel like I'm being taken back. It's like, has a, like emotionally affecting somehow. Just, just from the music alone, not even from the lyrics. And then Glitter is really catchy. It's a really fun song. And then Gatorade also sounds really good. That's that's probably my second favorite song in the album. It's Per Locator, and then Gatorade, and then probably Westermark. Those are the best songs on here. But some of these songs don't sound amazing. And, and the biggest problem with the music is that it's not a ton of variety within the music. Most of these songs do sound the same. And and that's, that's the biggest problem I have with the music. Besides that, this, this album really does sound pretty good. This album... Guppy is very, very overrated. It is does not deserve the critical claim, critical acclaim that it has received. But I I can't lie, this album grew on me a lot, and I would say it is an enjoyable album. I would say musically, it is a pretty good album. Besides, besides some of the rep, you know, kind of um, besides the sameness of the music, how the music basically sounds the same on all the songs. I would say this record is, and, and okay, so it's hard to say. I would say the problems with this album are that the, some of the some really awkward lyrics, some awkward off-putting lyrics, and overall a lack of interesting lyrical content. And then some of the music sounds the same throughout the record. There's not a ton of diversity and variety in the music. Besides that, this record really does sound great. The music on this is very high quality. It sounds way better live. I would say way better. This is. This is a band that you should see perform live. But musically, this is a pretty good record. This is a good sounding record. The vocals add charm to the album. They make it special, they make it stand out. I'm gonna give this thing 3.5 out of five. What do you think of Charlie Bliss? What do you think of Guppy? What do you think of their new album that's coming out in like, like, like 
I don't know, really soon. They've already released two singles for the album. I, I like one of the singles. I mean, I like things, I think I like things about both the single, singles, but there are also things I don't like about the singles. Same thing, problem that I have with this album, actually. Um, I like some of the lyrics, and then I dislike... I mean, I, it's like, the musically, musically it sounds good, but then it has some awkward, off-putting lyrics, and that, that's really the problem I have with the new singles. But besides that, it sounds pretty good. I bet it's going to be a good-sounding album. Probably, probably about as good-sounding as this album. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you.